Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to print a photo on a coffee mug, so stay tuned and check it out. For printing a mug, you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need a heat press, the mug heat press. I get mine from Pro World Inc. The mug heat press, I think this ran about $229. You're gonna need you some heat tape. You can get this on Amazon. This is the half inch. You can get the quarter inch, but it's not really gonna be uh, thick enough. Well, it might be, but I like the half inch, so this is what I use. Uh, you're also gonna need, oh, I done dropped a mug. Hold on, let me grab my mug, I done dropped it. Here it is. You're gonna need coffee mugs. Get these coffee mugs from a number of places. They sell them on Pro World, um, the same place I got this heat press. And uh, they sell them at a couple different places. Just type in sublimation coffee mug. This is an 11 ounce coffee mug. So these are pretty good, standard size. You can get bigger ones, but my customers like these. You're also gonna need the image you're gonna use. Um, this I just made for you know visual purposes, not selling this or anything, but just so you guys can kind of see how the mugs turn out when you print them. And last but not least, you're also gonna need a sublimation printer. If you don't have a sublimation printer, I do recommend getting an Artisan 1430 and using Cobra inks. Um, those paired together will make for a great sublimation printer. You'll be it'll run you about. I think it's like four hundred dollars or so total like for the printer and the inks so uh let's get into printing this mug okay once you got everything around you're gonna go ahead and take your coffee mug you're gonna take your image and you're gonna take it you're gonna wrap it around your coffee mug make sure that it's even top and the bottom and kind of center it on there so that you, know, you have even spacing between the handle. You're gonna take your piece of heat tape. Now my piece of heat tape is probably way bigger than I need it to be, but eh, it's all right. Take that, just tape it on there like that, smooth it out. You're gonna take it and slide it into your mug press. Close it. And I have this set for at 400 degrees for 300 seconds. Press my little timer. And then after this timer goes off, we'll check it out and see how the mug turned out. All right, so once your mug is done, the mug press is gonna beep to let you know it's ready. Go ahead and you press the button to stop that noise from bothering and driving you crazy. Open up your mug press, grab the handle. Don't grab anywhere else unless you wanna burn your skin off. And I know you like your skin, so keep it on there. Pull that out of there. Now, some people that make mugs will tell you you should take this and dip it in some warm water. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. You're gonna break your glass. I tried it, broke my glass, didn't turn out well. Plus, you lose money that way. Somebody else said that you should hurry up and take the paper off of here because, I don't know, that the image will bleed. I don't do any of that. I'm gonna take this mug and I'm gonna sit it aside, on its side, until it cools. So, once this is done cooling, we'll come back and we'll see how it turned out. Okay, so now it's done. It's cooled a little bit. It's not like all the way cool, but my hands can take a lot of heat because I use heat presses and stuff, and I used to be a server. So go ahead and peel your tape. Of course, be careful if it is still hot so you don't burn yourself like I am right now. Ah, let me see. Another way to do it, if you don't want to peel the tape, you can just rip the paper. Sometimes I do that. I'll just rip the paper off. Like, you're not gonna beat me mug and paper and tape. So pull that off and there we have it. This is a full color coffee mug. And you can see the bleed from the top to the bottom. You can see how good the image came out. I'm gonna try to see if I can zoom in. Actually, I'll just bring it closer. There we go. You can see how it turns out. Now, when you get to where the handle is, you can see there's a little bit of fading um, on both sides. Let me see if I can turn it around. See, you can see a little bit of fading right there, but that's because of how close it is to the handle. This part doesn't get printed, and the customers don't really care because the part, the way they're going to hold it is probably going to be like this or like that. So that there is how you print a full-color coffee mug. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe, and if you would like, go to facebook.com forward slash shirts inc, S-H-I-R-T-Z-I-N-K to check out some of the products that I make uh, at my business. 
Uh, the Lord has blessed me to be doing this, so I like to share what he's blessed me with, with you. Thanks again, and uh, God bless.